Hello, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, grandmas and grandpa, boys and girls, auntie and uncles. Get your popcorn, take out your Coca Cola, muchacha, sit back and relax, and I will entertain you on the types of energy. This is the first step. I'll be explaining to you why merry men, merry men are attracted, or the other way around, sorry. It's why women, women are attracted to merry men. All right, here we go. First one, form of energy is mechanical. That is the leaping of a frog. Leaping frogs are moving cars. Second one is thermal, melting ice cream or heating soup. Uh, fourth one is electromagnetic. Visible lighting, infrared ra radiation, <coughs> uh, radio signal, a radio wave. Fourth one is electrical, that is power line. You know, electrical power or lightning, or lightning, I should say. All right, fifth one is uh, chemical, that is the food that you eat. Did you know that one pound is equal to 3,500 calories? Calorie is a type of unit measurement, or the, the type of uh, measurement of unit. God damn it, what am I saying? Calorie is a type of unit of measurement of energy. Second one is striking a match. Okay, and then the uh, last one is nuclear. Type of energy is the nuclear. That is nuclear fusion. The sun and the stars, they're fusion. And then the, uh, the other example is nuclear fission that is inside the Earth's core. Include this discussion for today. Smell you later. <laughs> so the question of the day is what makes meta men so attracted or why women are attracted to meta men, meta men. All right, here we go. All right, the answer requires two things or two uh, two requirements for this this attraction to work. Alright, first one is whenever you see a couple or couples married and they're at a nightclub, right? You always see that the other you know, single women would go up to this married man. And what makes him so attracted is because the person that he's married to gave him the power. And that power goes something like this. I have to show it to you on a graph. I can never talk about it uh, like in an audio form because uh, my head doesn't think that way. I have to, I have to do PowerPoint so I can recite, rehearse, and then go from there. Otherwise, man, my my head will go blank all the time whenever I talk in front of a microphone or in front of a computer. Okay, continue on. This is what makes a merry man or merry men so attractive. It goes something like this. Uh, whenever he's married to her, she would give him mind, body, and soul, or her mind, body, and soul would transfer energy into his. And it goes something like this. The mind will oscillate into frequency, and then across time, and then it transfers to his body, to his mind. So from her mind to his mind, through the process of oscillation and frequency, her body will transfer energy through vibration, channel, across space, and into his body. Uh, her soul will transfer energy uh, through signal into matter, and then into his soul. So just to recap is, you have the mind, body, and soul will tr uh, oscillate, vibrate, transfer from frequency, channel, signal, into space, or into time, space, and matter and then onward to his body. That's how energy transfer work. And this energy that I'm referring to, it's one of the seven or one of the six energy that I just mentioned earlier. That is electromagnetic energy, energy that can never be seen through the naked eyes. Okay? Now, what makes him so attractive is when that energy is transferred. It's her energy times his. So both multiply they become multiplied. So it's her energy times his and amplify or multiply and the power expands, okay? Through the process or through uh, electromagnetic energy. 
think of uh have you seen NASCAR race, right? You always see like the the loneliest car, the solar car is always the slower car than the cars that driving in group. There's a reason for that. And it's called green gas effect. Whenever a uh, solar car join a group, the car that in group it tends to go faster because of the green gas effect. Like the first car is pushed by the second car, the one from behind it, and then the one from behind pushes the other car in front of it, and so on and so on. And then the last car gets his energy from the previous several cars in front of him that's pulling it. It's the it's it's the uh, green gas effect. Yeah, you you have to look that up to understand it. It's the same concept works in the uh, in the human body. It's, it's the same way. You know, I served eight years in the military, and I can tell you that uh, whenever I run alone, you know, for three miles or even four miles, uh, I would not make it. But as soon as I team up with groups, like they would yell uh, cadences, you know, they would sing, and they would motivate you to run. You have to, to pass it. I mean, it's part of PT. You have to do it. I mean, there's no other way. And Monday through Friday. This is the reason why a five feet five guy who walks around think that he's seven feet tall or ten feet tall because his wife compliment him with gifts, money, house, food, water, shelter, roof over his head, right? So basically she compliments him with all this thing that makes him more attractive. And in turn, you know, he thinks that he's, he's the world to her. He thinks he's all that. He's the prettiest, the hottest. You know, the total package. You think he's the uh, IFBB Pro, 5% body fat. And that's the reason why he thinks he's so attractive, because of that. She's complimenting him. Gift, money, food, water, shelter, love, passion, energy, and so on and so on. All right, the second requirement of what makes married men so attractive. Whenever you see a married couple at the bar, right, you see all these single women goes up to a married man. There's a reason for that. And the reason goes something like this. See, inside the single woman or women, it's uh, there's a logic, and it has something to do with the hind brain, or the logic brain, in other words. Uh, it's been, there's been study, it goes back to like hundreds, thousands of years, or millions of years, back to the uh, Stone Age to the caveman era, to even before that. It, there's this thing called uh, evolutionary theory, and it, the evolutionary explains something like this. Uh, this logic in her hindbrain, and her logic would say something like, okay, I think I'm prettier than her, sexier than her, finer than her. Why is he with her? Why is he married to her? Why not me? And because of that dispute or rebuttal, that's what makes him attractive even more because it's his wife's energy time his and then time all the other women that are attracted to him. The reason they're attracted to him is not because of his looks, his money, status, fame, fortune, none of that. The only reason they're attracted to him is his energy. It's that transfer of energy through mind, body, and soul across space, times, and matter. Okay, you got to understand that. It took me 20 years to figure this out, and then I finally cracked the code, and I said, holy shit, 